Hey everyone, let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted someone to miss you so deeply that you're on their mind from the moment they wake up to the second they fall asleep? Today, we're diving into the secrets of becoming truly unforgettable. But this isn't just about getting someone to think of you. We'll explore stoic principles that turn you into a person others genuinely admire and miss when you're not around. You see, Seneca once said, Absence sharpens love, presence strengthens it. So we're going to dive into 10 powerful stoic strategies designed to make your absence deeply felt. Each principle isn't just about creating a little longing, it's about helping you grow into a version of yourself that others can't help but respect and crave. If you're ready to start this journey, drop a comment below saying, on their mind tomorrow. Let's get started. First principle, independent fulfillment. Independent fulfillment is about living fully, with or without someone by your side. Imagine you're independent, fully engaged in your passions and hobbies, creating a life that doesn't rely on constant validation from others. People notice when you're thriving independently, and they start to miss you when you're not around. Instead of seeing you as just a partner or friend, they start to admire you as someone who's grounded, purposeful and inspiring. To achieve this, dive into things that truly bring you joy and satisfaction. It could be as simple as pursuing a hobby you've neglected, exploring new interests or setting personal goals that push you to grow. As you live a life that's fulfilling on its own, others feel a magnetic pull toward you because they see that you're not reliant on them for happiness. This independence plants seeds of curiosity and admiration, making them naturally want to be closer. Second principle, emotional anchoring. Mastering your emotions is like holding a compass in a storm. When things get tense and you're able to stay calm, people notice and admire that quality. Emotional anchoring is about responding thoughtfully instead of reacting impulsively. Marcus Aurelius taught, You have power over your mind, not outside events. When you learn to control your reactions, you create a sense of calm and stability that others are drawn to. Imagine every time you interact, you project calm and poise, even in the face of challenges. People start to see you as a steady influence, someone who isn't easily swayed by circumstances. This strength makes you stand out, and people start to miss that sense of security whenever you're away. Your calm energy lingers, keeping others drawn to you, even in your absence. Emotional anchoring isn't about suppressing your feelings. It's about responding with intention, which is powerful, memorable, and incredibly magnetic. Third principle, purposeful expression. Here's a secret. When you speak with intent, every word counts. Instead of filling the silence with random talk, make your words thoughtful and meaningful. Purposeful expression is all about choosing your words wisely so they resonate and leave a lasting impact. Seneca once said, speak so that you can speak again. When you're intentional in your speech, your voice and ideas stay with others long after the conversation ends. So, how do you achieve this? Think before you speak. Reflect on what you want to convey and say it with clarity and purpose. By being selective with your words, you create curiosity and admiration. You'll find that others begin to miss the insight and depth you bring to every interaction. Purposeful expression leaves others wanting more, looking forward to the next conversation with you because they know it will be meaningful. Fourth principle, embracing space. This principle might sound counterintuitive, but embracing time apart can actually deepen a connection. Instead of constantly being available or filling every moment with texts and calls, allow some breathing room. Think of absence not as a gap, but as a space where appreciation can grow. When you're comfortable with time apart, you show a strong sense of self and confidence in the bond which often leads others to value your presence more deeply. 
To practice this, embrace the moments when you're not around them. Focus on enjoying your own company and allow others to do the same. This space builds anticipation, making your next meeting or conversation feel even more special. By valuing space, you're sending the message that while you cherish their company, you don't need to be around constantly to feel complete. This balance makes your presence feel all the more precious. Fifth principle, active presence. Being fully present is like a superpower in today's distracted world. When you're together with someone, give them your undivided attention. No phones, no half-hearted responses. Active presence means being fully engaged, mentally and emotionally, in every interaction. Marcus Aurelius said, do every act as if it were your last. When you're genuinely engaged, the person with you feels truly seen, heard, and valued. Imagine the difference it makes when someone feels your full attention. Each moment becomes memorable, and they'll think back on those interactions, missing the quality of presence you bring. To practice active presence, put away distractions, listen intently, and respond thoughtfully. By doing this, you're creating powerful memories that linger long after you're gone, drawing others back to you again and again. Sixth principle, reliability in connection. Reliability doesn't mean overwhelming someone with constant messages. It means creating a steady and dependable rhythm in your interactions. Maybe it's a daily check-in or a weekly call. It's about consistency and quality. Seneca said, Regularity is a sign of wisdom. When people come to expect these interactions with you, they become a cherished part of their routine, and they notice your absence when it doesn't happen. To be reliable in your connections, establish a rhythm that suits both of you. This doesn't mean rigid schedules, but creating a sense of consistency that others come to rely on. Your presence becomes a comforting force that they miss when you're not there, a stable part of their lives that brings a sense of calm. Your reliability fosters a sense of trust that makes others want to keep you in their lives. Seventh principle, living with intent. Living with intent isn't just about your career or job. It's about setting goals, having a vision, and working toward a life that's meaningful to you. When you're passionate and driven, people can feel that energy. Talk about your aspirations, your projects, the things that light you up. When others see your passion, they admire you and are naturally drawn to your presence. But when you're not around, they miss the inspiration and drive that only you bring. Living with intent makes you magnetic, as people are drawn to those who are actively pursuing their goals and dreams. You become more than just a friend or partner. You become a source of motivation. Others want to be around you, but more importantly, they miss your drive and zest for life whenever you're not there. Eighth principle, measured emotions. Expressing your emotions with moderation is powerful. It's about finding a balance in how you show your feelings, neither overly intense nor detached. Measured emotions mean showing affection and appreciation thoughtfully. Marcus Aurelius said, the best revenge is to be unlike him who performed the injury. Responding with restraint and balance allows your emotions to carry more weight. When you show feelings in moderation, people come to appreciate those moments more. It makes each expression of affection meaningful, something to look forward to. By keeping your emotions measured, you're showing that you're in control of your heart, not driven by impulses. This strength draws people to you, and they'll find themselves longing for more of those genuine moments whenever you're apart. Ninth Principle – Resilient Optimism Life throws challenges at us all, but resilience is what sets us apart. When you face setbacks with grace and an optimistic outlook, others notice. Seneca said, A gem cannot be polished without friction, nor a man perfected without trials. By handling adversity with resilience and optimism, you become a source of stability for others. When you're not around, 
People miss the calm confidence you bring. Resilient optimism isn't just about enduring tough times. It's about inspiring others to believe that they too can overcome their hardships. Show others that life's challenges don't break you but make you stronger. Your resilience becomes a source of inspiration that they can't help but miss when you're gone. Tenth Principle – Unwavering Integrity Being consistent in who you are is rare and powerful. When you're true to your values, people know they can trust you. Epictetus said, First say to yourself what you would be, then do what you have to do. When you're steady in character, people know they can rely on you, and that trust is something they miss profoundly when you're not around. To practice unwavering integrity, stand firm in your beliefs, be authentic, and honor your commitments. When others know who you are and that you'll be there when it matters, they value you deeply. Your absence is felt profoundly because people miss the certainty and stability you bring into their lives. Integrity leaves a lasting impression, building the type of bonds that withstand time and distance. In the end, becoming someone worth missing isn't about tricks or games. It's about embodying qualities that others genuinely admire and respect. When you live with independent fulfillment, emotional anchoring, purposeful expression, and the other principles we've explored today, you create connections that go beyond the superficial, making your absence deeply felt. If you found these principles valuable, hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment saying, on their mind tomorrow. Your engagement helps us create more content that resonates. Remember, mastering these principles is a journey that brings you closer to becoming someone unforgettable. Until next time, keep these stoic values close to your heart and know that every choice you make brings you closer to building a life and relationships that others truly value. See you in the next video.